In this lecture, let's study nutrition in plants. Plants exhibit autotrophic mode of nutrition. Carbon and energy requirement of the autotrophic organisms are fulfilled by the process of photosynthesis. So what do you mean by photosynthesis? It is the process in which organisms prepare their own food using carbon dioxide, water, in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll molecules. And the final product formed here is glucose molecule. Glucose molecule is used by the plants for their energy requirement and the excess glucose is stored in the form of starch. So starch is the internal energy reserve in plants. The same case happens in case of animals. Here internal energy reserve is glycogen and it is stored in liver. Glycogen it is stored in liver. So this is about um, autotrophic nutrition. Now let's see what happens during the process of photosynthesis. What are the steps involved in the process of photosynthesis? First of all absorption of light energy by chlorophyll molecules and conversion of light energy into chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen and third reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrate. These are the main three steps involved in the process of photosynthesis. Here chlorophyll molecule absorb light energy and also it converts light energy into chemical energy. So chlorophyll molecule is known as energy converter. Why it is known as energy converter? Because it converts light energy into chemical energy and it is a pigment molecule present in the chloroplast. Due to splitting of water molecules hydrogen and oxygen is released and this hydrogen is used for the reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrate that is C6H12O6. Here what happens addition of hydrogen to carbon dioxide takes place and it's finally reduced into carbohydrate. These all steps are not takes place one after the another. There are some exceptions in case of desert plants. In case of desert plants, desert plants in desert plants, stomata remains closed during daytime to prevent excessive loss of water. So desert plants absorb carbon dioxide during night time and prepare an intermediate compound which is acted upon by sunlight during daytime and it is finally converted into glucose molecule that is the product of photosynthesis. Here we have to note that oxygen released during the process of photosynthesis is coming from water molecules and it is not from carbon dioxide. Splitting of water molecules release oxygen. And also this oxygen is a waste product in plants during the process of photosynthesis. Even though oxygen is used for respiration, during the process of photosynthesis, oxygen is a waste product. Now let's examine the structure of leaf. Here is the structure of leaf. Here you can see waxy cuticle is present, upper epidermis. Waxy cuticle protect the leaf surface from pathogenic infections and also it prevent excessive loss of water molecules. Here you can see the green dot like structure known as chloroplast where chlorophyll molecule is present and which absorb light energy. And this is a guard cells, guard cells, guard cells helps in opening and closing of the stomata. Now let's see stomata, this is stomata. Stomata are tiny opening present on the surface of the leaf. These are very 
minute opening present on the surface of the leaf. The function of stomata is exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Exchange of gases is the main function of stomata. Stomata also perform another function that is known as transpiration. Transpiration means the loss of water in the form of water vapor through minute opening present on the leaf that is stomata. But gaseous exchange also takes place through some other parts of the plant body like stem and root. There are also minute opening present through which exchange of gases takes place. So what is the function of stomata? First function, exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Second function, transpiration. So these are the main function performed by stomata. In case of dicot plants, there are upper epidermis and lower epidermis. More number of stomata is present on the lower surface. But in case of monocot plants, the number of stomata is equal on both sides. So that is the difference in the number of stomata in different types of leaf. And the stomata remains closed if there is no photosynthesis or if there is any adverse environmental conditions, the stomata remains closed. Then how this opening and closing of stomata takes place? What is the mechanism behind the opening and closing of stomata? The mechanism is very simple. It depends upon the amount of water molecules and also concentration of some minerals. When water enter into the guard cells, guard cells become turgid and it swell up and stomata open. When guard cells shrink or uh, water comes outside from the guard cell, it <coughs> shrink. So the stomata close. Now let's see. Autotrophic organisms like green plants synthesis food material that we know that they synthesis food material by the process of photosynthesis but they also need other material raw material for building their body so this raw material coming from soil from soil uh, plants get water and minerals like uh, materials like uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, magnesium, these are all coming from soil. Here nitrogen is very essential for the synthesis of protein. So the main component of protein is nitrogen and also it is used for the synthesis of DNA. DNA is the genetic material that is deoxyribonucleic acid. Here nitrogen bases are present like adenine. Adenine is a nitrogen base. Adenine, guanine, thiamine, cytosine. These are all nitrogen bases. So nitrogen is essential for the synthesis of DNA molecules. So nitrogen, nitrogen uh, plants cannot uh, take nitrogen directly from the atmosphere. Even animals cannot take uh, ox uh, nitrogen directly from the atmosphere. So from where this um, nitrogen comes from? It is in the form of inorganic nitrates and nitrites where uh, nitrogen fixation takes place nitrogen fixation by the action of uh, uh, some nitrogen fixing bacteria they fix nitrogen and uh, convert into nitrates and nitrates so plants can absorb it and some other bacteria can also fix at atmospheric nitrogen into organic form so plants can also absorb this uh, nitrogen in organic form. So these are the source where uh, the plants get nitrogen. So this is all about uh, nutrition in plants. If you like this video, like, subscribe and share. Let's have a knowledge transaction.